Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes uh, on Wednesday the 25th of July here on Share Talk. Starting off with Aortec, uh, where we have a beautiful breakout uh, that's been in place uh, going on for the last uh, month or so. New leg to the upside, looks like it's starting now. We've got that peak broken at uh, 85 pence above that. Next target as high as £1.30. Uh, stop loss, I suppose, um, back below this uh, uptrend line from the end of last month, around 77, 78 pence. So uh, looks reasonably well set up there. Stock which uh, we're waiting on a, a move higher is uh, Alterna Energy. It's been making reasonable noises on a technical basis over the last few sessions, breaking above the 50-day uh, average at 0.34. Hopefully we'll get through this 200-day uh, line, 0.41, and then after that, uh, the big target here as high as 0.9, which is the top of a rising November trend channel. Uh, going on to another stock which uh, we've been following for quite a while now, um, um, Eurasia Mining. Looks like we're in a mid-move consolidation here between, what's that, 0 0.6 and 0 0.9, rather wide bound there. But uh, next time we break um, uh, 0 0.9, should be enough to get the shares up to uh, a revised target as high as a 1.2 pence. The old target was around 0.8, so it's uh, delivered uh, the goods uh, so far. Uh, stock which I haven't looked at for a little while is um, Egdon Resources. Uh, looks like we've got a beautiful triangle break here. Um, if we hold above uh, 10 and a half pence, basically, uh, by the end of the day, uh, we could at least retest uh, the uh, May resistance zone uh, at uh, 13 pence and possibly uh, head much higher. Big target here as high as uh, 20 pence, I think, from a, an old resistance line there, yes, from um, 2016. So plenty to play for at um, Egdon Resources. Uh, stop loss, probably the stage uh, back below, uh, let's say, nine and a half pence. I uh, wouldn't expect it to go much below that. Uh, stock which um, I haven't looked at at all before is um, Dukemont uh, Capital, uh, at least on the bulletin board heroes. Uh, but it looks as though this is well set up at the moment. We had the Golden Cross uh, last month and uh, basically bouncing off the 50-day moving average um, after a gap reversal uh, over the last few sessions. A uh, big target here as high as 0.9 pence while we hold above the 50-day line at 0.53. So it looks as though Dukemont uh, in focus there. On to uh, stock, which is a, a request uh, for the day, um, one which I followed or uh, highlighted um, earlier in the month, um, uh, Havivo. Uh, here we see the shares have come back to the floor of this rising trend channel from the beginning of April around, let's say, 63, 64 pence. While we're above that, still in an uptrend and still could retest that 100 pence zone. So uh, look, out, look out for that over the next uh, few days. Uh, the RSI at 56 is still well above the neutral level and bias towards the upside. You can see the 50 and 200 day moving averages uh, also trying to cross as we speak. Uh, imagine a tick, um, one of the risers today. And uh, interesting in the sense that obviously, even though it's bombed out, it looks like, it looks like we've, uh, we're seeing a, a falling wedge uh, breakout. Uh, I suppose that's around sort of four and a quarter pence. So well, if you hold above that, one would be hoping for a push towards uh, the 50 day moving average at 6.4 pence as a best case scenario target obviously uh, have that stop loss in just below four pence uh, to make sure you don't get caught out uh, another uh, request is uh, another stop which has um, fallen back from the best levels so uh, we were hoping for 30 pence plus uh, here at Coobs but uh, the shares have backed off uh, still just about in the in the uh, bullish zone in the sense that uh, while we hold above uh, the March uptrend line at 15 pence one would give the benefit of the doubt to the upside scenario, but obviously we have we have double topped for uh, June and July, so uh, below 15 pence, might one might be uh, right to give up the ghost on the bull scenario at least for a while. Uh, otherwise, maybe a break of 18 pence uh, would be a decent buy trigger uh, for those who are cautious. Um, finishing off with the uh, final request of the day, a uh, stock which uh, had a little spike earlier in the month, um, Modern Water. Uh, above the 200-day moving average, uh, one must still give it the benefit of the doubt, even though we pulled back quite sharply. Uh, if you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait for 11 and a half to break before targeting uh, or uh, envisaging a new leg to the upside. Uh, but at the moment, we're still in consolidation mode, so uh, nothing too much to uh, say one way or the other at the moment. That's it for me. More updates at the same time tomorrow.